All right, welcome back to some TFT with me, McGrathy. Uh, we got Artifact Anvil. Um, we're doing a Diana Flex series right now on YouTube. Um, uh, scoreboard Scrapper is actually pretty good. We're usually, ooh, we could go Mythic, but I don't have what I need for that. Um, Cybernetic is okay as well. I think I'm gonna try a Scoreboard Scrapper. We're usually in the bottom. You know, I'm gonna clear that. We're usually in the bottom of this uh, uh, rack anyway. Uh, we don't have three exalted, do we? Oh, that's a shame. Uh, yeah, we're usually sitting in the bottom of our uh, matches anyway, so I feel like that's fine. I mean, we could have put this in for a little bit extra. Um, so yeah, but we're playing Diana. Uh, we're playing basically exclusively Diana. Uh, we're trying to get her find out whether she's the best comp or not. I think she's super strong. Um, I've had some really good luck with her the last couple days. I just put up a video, uh, two yesterday and one today, um, with her. She's super strong. I think she's basically as good as Annie. Um, she does things a little bit different than Annie. She's not maybe quite as good, but she's a lot easier to three-star than Annie. And so I, I think that that works in her favor. Um, she uses the same items as Annie does, which can be kind of a pain. Um, but, yeah, I think that's okay. This is literally the worst. Ooh, guys, this is so silly. Tom Kench, can you please not do this? This is so boring. Um, yeah, so Diana, that's what we're playing. We're playing Diana Flex. We basically want to get some Sages. We want to get some, uh, maybe Arcanists. We want to just basically give her as much attack damage, or attack uh, power as possible. That's our current plan. We're going to open up this artifact anvil. Um, we're going to see what we get here. It might change the way that we play this game a little bit, so I do want to open it a little bit earlier. I think I put this here as well. Uh, another artifact anvil. Okay, so let's pop these. Let's see what we get. Diamond Hand, Lich Banes. Uh, I don't think that's great on her because it doesn't really give us anything. Silver Mane is super good. Uh... Diamond Hands is okay too, but this is really only good on like someone who gets an insane amount of attack power. I think we take it though, we have to take it, right? Put it on here. Let's let, open the next one here too. Oh man, these all suck. Although, 20, uh, 50 damage holder resistance dealt over 4 seconds is non lethal damage. I mean, that's pretty good. Death's Defiance. Gives us 30 armor, 25% attack speed, 10% attack damage. This would be pretty good. Managing this also. See, none of these are really good for. Unfortunately, um, for what we're looking to do, which is Diana. <laughs> that really sucks. Uh, it really sucks, but that's okay. Um, we're still lower. We're, we're, we're still, you know, bottom four on the thing here. That's fine. I. Silver me. Uh, how do I? What do I do with this? I just need someone with attack damage, right? Well, who gets a lot of attack damage? <sighs> hmm. Who doesn't want to attack quickly? Kabuko, I guess, but he's a terrible unit in general, so why would I take that? This is also not great on him because the, the attack speed is totally use, uh, useless. Um, I don't know who this is good on, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and sell a couple of units here. I'm keeping these because they're exalted, and if I get three exalted, at least I can level up a little bit faster. Um, who are the other exalteds, by the way? Uh, Zyra. I think I'm going to take the Diana. We need a Diana. We get a Diana. This is fine. I don't know what to put on her. I mean, I, I could do a redemption. That, you know, might be nice. I, I, I would do the redemption on probably Nico or Annie, you know, on my off tank. Uh, but that is possible. I also could do a Nashers on her. It is a good item on her. She does, you know, more damage uh, doing that. So that would be good. We do have Dragon Lords. Maybe I give this to Lee Sin. Do I give this to Lee Sin? And then do like Death Blade. <laughs> Would that be crazy? Would that be crazy? Probably. Snipers deal more damage to targets further away. So this is actually pretty good for that. I think we put this here. 
And Adaptive Helm? Not really. I would rather have a Gargoyles, to be honest. Right? It gives her a lot more tankiness. We do have a Champion Duplicator. We do have a Nasher's Tooth. If I go Nasher's Tooth on her and then, like, a full... Something like a, you know, a full tank item... Maybe that would be good. I, I feel really sad that our two... The two things we got are not that great, though. I, I feel sad about that. If we sell these. It's not worth it. Still didn't get a third. It's fine. I'm gonna make... Yeah, Infinity Edge, I guess, is really good on this as well. And then, yeah, basically just attack damage on this, whoever this is. Nash's Tooth, I feel like we have... I feel like we just need to go AP. Like, full AP is better than trying to do some... Like, 78 bonus magic damage? I, I, I don't know. I'll try it. I, I've never tried Nash's Tooth on her. I'll try it. Adaptive Helm... Adaptive Helm was pretty good, but it doesn't give us any HP. We're kind of low on HP. We get 150 from there and nothing from here. So I think we need to get something with some HP on it, to be honest. I think that's probably the best. Um, I guess we're selling these. Oh, we won that. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'll, I'll grab this then. <clears throat> so what are, we, what are we going? Let's just put the Diana in for now. So Diana, we do have a Janna already. Uh, Janna already. So we could go um, Dragon Lords. We could also go Sage. Uh, here's the Zyra. This is really good as well. Um, we do have two Invokers, which is nice. We don't really need the Snipers, I guess. We don't need this either. Um, <clears throat> would this be good on Zyra? Probably not, right? Although maybe she doesn't need. So let, hold on, let's just let's just put these in. So we want Dragon Lord, right? I think Dragon Lord's the best. So we get this and we get this, right? That gives us four Dragon Lord, and then we go Morgana, uh, Wukong. And Zyra. I, mean, I think we have to have Zyra in for that anyway, right? Let's see what we got here for Diana. Oh, Crown Guard. That's actually really good. Crown Guard is a good item. Gives us some survivability, and it gives us that. Okay, we're going to do that. That's fine. Bloodthirster we don't need. I, I really do want a uh, Death Blight. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be really good. We're going to be level 5 soon. After this, rather, not just soon. Let's see how well she does here. She is literally 1v6. Um, she dies, that's fine. That was a lot of damage. And a two star Darius with Dragon, so. To be expected. This is my last game for the afternoon until I go and do my woodworking stuff. So I want to do a good job. I want to make a good one. Uh, I'm gonna pick these two Exalteds up just in case. Like, maybe it's no, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth taking them. It's fine. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, Gargantuan's Resolve. That's. I find I need a remover now. Ah, bummer. That's okay. That's really good. Oh, Dragon Lord's Deal 20% bonus. I think it's that, right? It can't be anything else. Now we go to Dragon Lord's. Oh, Syndra is Exalted. Hello, Syndra. Oh my god, why is my phone blowing up? Go away, phone. Uh. Syndra is really good. She wants mana. Um, yeah, I don't know. Does she want a spear? I need a, I need an Annie. So let, let's fill out the rest of the team here. So we got four Dragon Lords. We got four Sages. I definitely want Annie. She's it's easy to two star her. She's a really good unit. And then we want that's two Invokers, right? With Annie and Janna. So this is sort of our front line. I, basically, we have Rakan, Lee Sin, Annie, and Diana front line. We've got Luke, oh, and Wukong. And the Zyra, Janna, and Morgana in the back line. I mean, this is, like, seriously good units here. If we can get an emblem, we can just put another unit in as well. I'm going to take this for the Invoker bonus for now. We really need to get to level 7 as soon as possible to start getting our items, but we will get there. Adaptive is for Annie. I think this is going to be Annie for sure. I will take... Um, Who's a good Annie? 
item holder. Malawi is a good any item holder. So is Kench, I guess. Kench can take that too, so we'll do one of those. Uh, set you on a win streak or a loss streak. Uh, we are already on a loss streak, I think, right? <laughs> oh, Soraka's exalted too. That's nice. Uh, but not really what we want. So Syndra's exalted. Lilia, I actually do want, and Zyra. Okay, maybe we actually take this. If we get a Lilia or a Zyra, I will definitely put them in for exalted. I'm gonna take, take this out and this out. Uh, I would actually give this to Zyra because her plants actually do extra damage too. So these are actually not that bad on her. I mean, they're okay. The infinity edge is probably pretty bad on her, but that's fine. <clears throat> that's fine. We're going up. Gonna level up to seven as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, this, these, these are actually pretty good exalted units, right? We actually use Zyra, Soraka, and Lilia in all of our games. Well, almost all of our games. Soraka is kind of an outlier. We don't really use her very much, but uh, she is a really good unit. Zyra we use, and Lily we use. So we could make Zyra, Lilia, Soraka. We could make that work. Definitely could make that work. We're, we're still lost streaking, so we're, we are getting big bonuses here. Uh, we could pick this up. What could we do with this? Do we want that? I don't think we want that, right? I think we pick up the Lee Sin. I think that's worth it. We'll be five in a second. Three Dragon Lord is good. Every Dragon Lord you add is good. Every Sage you add is good as well after two. So, like, getting Dragon Lord Sage is. It's just really good. And since Diana is both, every single unit you add adds to their bonuses, which is. You know, there is, I think it's the only two that do that in this uh, in this set, so it's just really good. Uh, so we level up, we put this in, and now we've got two. Okay, we don't want to put Adaptive Helm. We might actually put Bloodthirster on the Lee Sin. He's only a fighter. He's not a you know he's not a tank, um, but he does a good job. Let's let's just leave it for now. We do have a champion duplicator as well. Um, we need to get this out of here. <coughs> this is really not useful right now. Well, it is useful, but not that great. Okay, we have a Rek'Sai with that on it. That's interesting. That's going to be really bad for Diana, because she's not going to be able to cast her abilities. But she does still get mana, so I guess it's okay. We win this one. Okay, fair enough. Good thing I put myself on a 6 loss streak, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to roll this two cost here just because we would like to get... If we three-star Janna, we're doing really well. If we three-star Zyra, we're doing really well. Um, all of these characters have crappy stats, though. Okay, we take this, and we level up. Um, 40 attack damage. Like, this is... A, I need someone that does attack damage to hold this item. It's not Wukong. It's not Rakan. Uh, maybe we'll get maybe we'll get Pandora's and we can uh, we can roll these. I don't really know. <laughs> that would be great, but I don't really know. Bloodthirster on Lee Sin. I don't think it's worth it. We're gonna have a lot of tank. We're gonna have Annie. We're gonna have Diana. We're gonna have Rakan. I don't think that we need to uh, worry too much about the tank. But this is our eight plan, by the way. This is Glowy and Tom Kench is just their placeholders for Annie until we get that. Dude, what in the love of Christicles? Yeah, this Kiana is really good too. I made a couple videos of Kiana, but they're really good. Having this rapid fire on her though, that's uh, that's super crazy good, isn't it? Seems like it, because she then she doesn't need to be in. You can just put her in the back line and let her wreck faces. I mean, it's great. Um, we need to level up. We need to get. We need to get to level 7. We have a 1 star on everything except for Janna. Everything is 1 star except for Janna. <coughs> we can, we can, could actually put this on Janna. I don't think it's great on her, but we could. We could do it. Let's see what we get, guys. Zyra, good. This, don't care. Okay, this, good. This, don't care. Annie! Yay, you came. Okay, you're definitely better here. Definitely putting one of these on you. Definitely putting a death blade there. Uh, and we're definitely putting you back in. Actually, we're going to put you in. No, we're going to put 
this in for the sage and the uh, the, the sage yeah bonus although yeah we don't need this anymore you were fun but you're out <clears throat> yeah this gives us the sage bonus gives that Diana the uh, the extra on new vamp here which I think is good that's all she brings to the table other than exalted so it's fine we're gonna take the volley bear the nice thing is that she's got a huge amount of bomb event with that 25% as well, so she actually has a massive amount of bomb event, which is really good. I've never played her with this Nasher's Tooth before, so we're going to kind of see how this, you know, sort of goes. Ooh, Sage Crest. I think that's easy, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, we got this. Okay, we don't need that. Uh, Sage can go on anybody. It gives you a little bit of HP. So it's probably good on Lee Sin, I want to say. Do we want to use him as our attack fighter, though? I think we might. I'm, I'm going to put this on that for now. That's really yeah, not that not that important there. I want to take this out. I'm actually going to put Lee Sin. I'm going to give these items to Lee Sin. I don't know if this is whack or not, but uh, it seems okay. Jenna, Cogma, I guess it's fine. Okay. Three star Jenna incoming, maybe? That'd be pretty funny. So now we need one more invoker. We need Loon or Lilia. Probably Lilia, because she's exalted as well, right? That would give us three exalted. But that's going to be level eight to get her in. <coughs> How did Lee Sin do? Holy Christicles, he smacked some people up. He did really good damage. Fair enough. I guess the thing is, you don't attack very often, but he'll still cast his spell, right? Won't he? Even if he doesn't need a rainer. Okay, we actually don't need this because we have the Annie now, so we don't need those guys. Another Invoker, though. You are doing nothing for us other than Invoker, right? So this is obviously better. But for Invoker, that would be good too, right? This is Invoker. This is Sage. I think we put this in. We get four Invoker. We get two Sage still. We still have the Zyra. We didn't sell her. It's fine. Uh, but this way we get four Invokers, which is really good for both of our tanks. First of all, really good for Annie. Second of all, I mean, Annie's going to look at how much mana she has, and she's casting like every three seconds. Crazy. Diana in the back line, just wrecking face. Look at that Lee Sin. Okay, this was a good idea on Lee Sin. That is wild damage, man. That is wild damage. Um, Runons, I don't know who to put, what to put on there. Maybe we do Ionic Spark on somebody. We'll be right back. Okay, sorry, my son came to the door and I had to uh, answer that. Um, yeah, we got another Annie, which is really good. Uh, Giant Slayer is okay. I would like to get items on Azir here. Um, put these guys like this. Bloodthirster, Giant Slayer. I don't know, we're going to wait for a sec. We're going to do our rolls first, because that's what we really need. Oh, wow, we did get three-star Janet. That's pretty wild. And we got more Zyras. Okay, so three star Janna. That is pretty good. Do we jump? Giant Slayer on her though kind of sucks because her bubble, the shield won't help anybody, right? <clears throat> Although, look at the damage, dude. That was almost there. Are we still in the bottom four? We are, so we should be getting a lot of benefit from this, uh, yeah, scoreboard scrapper thing. It doesn't tell me exactly, but I, 
I know we're getting good benefit from it. Um, we're almost dead here. I feel like that's really bad. I feel like we need to probably do something about that. Okay, that's good. There's another sage. Do we take out a dragon lord though? What's his attack power? I think going sages is better than dragon lords, right? I think we need to take out the Lee Sin. As fun as this is, I think maybe this is better on someone else. We you put it on Janna. It'd be pretty funny, right? The thing is, Lee Sin hits so hard. He's doing most of our damage right now. But this guy must do more, right? I don't know. I'll do two star Lee Sin then. I guess that's really good. Okay, who else is not a sage? Let's take you out. You don't need to be here at all, pretty much. You are not a useful character. Um, who else is not a sage? Azir. Annie. Janna, we have to keep in because, well, she's, she's Janna. Um, Giant Slayer on Azir, I guess would be good. Right? Oh, dude, is this a masterwork upgrade? No, it's not. That would have been really cool. Wow, Wukong. We have full sage now. Okay. Uh, Jesus. We have to take this out now. I'm so sorry. That's got to come out. Do we put this on the Wukong then? I think so. We just go like this. Screw it. We'll do it live. Uh, let's do this here. And giant Slayer there. We already have three star that. We're not using this. Okay, let's roll for our Diana. No Dianas. That was a lot of rolling for no Dianas. To get a Zyra, though, I guess that's a bonus. We need to get one more Sage in. Who can we take out? Oh, I really don't want to take out the three star Janna. How much did Janna do? Oh, all of our damage. Okay, that's cool. It's cool, Janna. I won't take you out, I promise. Mm, I feel so bad about Lee Sin, but I, I can't have you. I think maybe we. I think maybe we go 8. We put this in. We go 5 Sage. And uh, we just hope that this is enough. I will take... I will hold this. I think this is fine. We still want to get 3 star here. But um, honestly, I think we're doing really well. And part of playing a flex comp is that you have to be flexible. Getting 3 star Diana is not the win condition here. It's very nice to have. Um, but it's not the end all be all. Um, we are now in the late game. We're at stage five. I can't sit at level seven for too long and just wait. Um, Sage gives me five, uh, forty-five percent omnivamp, which is <laughs> insane. Uh, Wukong should be doing insane damage too. Oh, sixteen ninety-four. It's not that bad. Not great, but not bad. Increased player health. Good. This gives us player health. Um, it's fine, it gives everybody player health, but it, it's good. We need some more items. We need to get something on the carousel here. Um, we have a cloak that's doing nothing. We only have one item on Annie, which is really rough. So we need to get some items. We also would love some items on Janet, because she's apparently doing all of our damage. <laughs> uh, Azir is also doing very good damage. So yeah, this is an insane comp right now. Five Sage is really, really good. We're giving 75 ability power to our back line here. Uh, which is um, a lot. I don't need to. I don't need to tell you. 242 AP is what he's got. Uh, that's a lot. He's doing a lot of damage. Janna is doing a lot of damage. She has 202 without any items whatsoever. She's also shielding our front line, which means that yeah, Diana didn't even die that round. That's really good. Don't think we're three starting this. I'd rather get the gold. I don't think we're ready to put that in, and I don't think we're going to get that. This would be really good. This is perfect item on Annie. 
Uh, it's gonna, of course, be gone first. Yep, that's that's, that's yep. Yeah, okay, no problem. Um, I think we take this. Oh no, someone else took it. Okay, that's fine. We'll take this then. This can go on Azir, or it could go on Jenna. Azir does more damage though. Jenna, yeah, Jenna's yeah. Azir, there you go, my friend. Enjoy. We're back to forty-four. We will level up to 9, and we will put the Lee Sin in just to get the 3 Dragon Lords. I think it's worth it. It does 10% of their health as damage, which is um, really a lot. You know, if I'm honest, it's a lot. This Negatron Cloak... I guess I put it on Annie. If I get 2 items somehow, I'll feel really stupid for putting that on, but... You know, it, we're in the bottom half of this, you know, well, we're in the middle of this, but we're, yeah, we're sort of in the half. This plan B guy, I think we're going to kill him now. He's only got a three-star Senna. That's, that's not going to survive me, I'm, I'm very sorry to say. <coughs> so we cutscene him. Metaphorically speaking, we don't actually cutscene because this chibi doesn't have a cutscene, but I got it a while ago and I like it, so I'm going to use it. Um... <coughs> We only have one Exalted in, so that's not great. Yeah, one Sage. Uh, Wukong. I actually never looked at his thing. Cycling through, throw the staff out, during dealing physical damage. Oh, 917 damage. Wow. And stunning them for 1.5 seconds. So we already do stuns. That's fine. Spin, dealing damage. And dash to the most enemies in a 3 hex line and slamming down your staff. I mean, these are probably actually really good items on him because everything he does is uh, just you know attached to his damage. His attack damage. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, two stars. But they're all one and two costs. Is that really that good? I don't know. <coughs> wow. Uh, Wukong just slapped that guy. Look at the damage he's doing. Oof. He's a one star. Oh my god. He just one shot that dude. That was really good. Now he's going to one shot this too. Boom. 1300. Was that? Is that 1300 damage? Dude, Wukong. Settle down, buddy. Leave some fun for the rest of us, huh? Leave some fun. Okay, we're leveling up. Again, maybe we'll get a nice item out of here. I mean, I would absolutely love an Ionic Spark. I would absolutely love another Adaptive Helm. I would absolutely love a Dragon's Claw or a Gargoyles. Fuck, I'd even take a Heavenly Emblem out of all this. I would do any of those things and put that on uh, Annie. So, <clears throat> pretty much anything we get here other than a Bloodthirster, Runons, Quicksilver, or even Trout. Actually, I would even take the even Trout. I would even do that because it's a good tank item and we have a Wukong. So, you know what? I would even take that. We didn't get a single item. We got the completed item, though. So, we'll see what we can get from here for her. Uh, this is nice, but not really that great. Blue buff. I think it's Steadfast Heart for her, maybe. She doesn't really need blue buff, right? She's still doing so much damage, though. I think we take the Thief's Gloves for her. I think this is going to be better. Oh, and a Morello's. That's... That's OP. Go level 9 next round and we put this in. We're pretty much not getting a 3-star Diana, but we're gonna, we're never going to sell those three. Just on the off chance that as we're rolling for this, we get it. And this, we still need to 2-star this uh, Morgana and the uh, Lee Sin and the Wukong. So we will roll a little bit. Um, I think Sage is probably the most OP version of Diana. I gotta be honest, this is this is really good. Diana tanks a lot of damage, right? I mean, she still tanked more than Annie. She delays the front line, uh, the, delays the back line getting into your front line for so long. I think it's definitely worth it. I think I level up here too, don't I? 12 gold? I do. I think I do. This is fine. Now we've got the uh, three Dragon Lord, which gives us extra attack speed. Of course, it's not useful on Wukong, but that's fine. It's useful on everybody else. Um, these are not great items for her. Her static ship is okay, though, I guess. It, you know, it shreds people. That's fine. I'm going to move these over here, actually. <clears throat> I want all my damage on one side of the map. Basically this side here. Oh, this guy went the same thing. Oh, no, he got Blacksmith Gloves, but he's got the Silver Man as well. Interesting. I think you're gonna die though. Sorry, friend. I have 45% Omni Vamp, and I still am having troubles with this. What's this? A three star Volibear. Nice. 
Nice, Bolivar. I appreciate you. Three star Tristana. Just jump in and get smacked. Thank you, friend. Okay, so now basically I'm looking to three star this. Two star the Morgana. Two star the. Uh, oh, no, I don't need Zyra. Two star this. Two star this. This is what I'm looking for now. Is there two people left? No, so three people left uh, and me. Um, this side. Two star Aurelia over there. That's kind of a problem. This guy's putting all his stuff on that side of the map. This guy's putting all his stuff on that side of the map. I think we switch. If we go like this. Yeah, we should we should roll through this side of his map pretty easy. I want to kill that Wukong. He's a big threat. But this uh, this guy in the back here is a big problem. I'm not gonna lie. Did we get? No, we didn't get the uh, anti heal on that. But that kind of sucks. But we one shot that 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 uh, what you call it? Oh, that guy. Oh my god, that's crazy. I'm gonna roll this four cost because again Morgana and Lee Sin. We want to get both of them. We're gonna roll a little bit. Uh, see what we get here. Heavenly. Uh, what is the best for us? We, we need an any item, right? Honestly, this is probably the best. I think I'm going to take it, too. It's a one-cost unit. That really sucks. But the rest of it's good. I mean, we have nobody else to put items on, right? We're not going to put items on Morgana. Okay, well, we caught an extra Morgana, but that's not what we're going to do. I'm going to put this here. Uh, who are we fighting now? We just fought this guy, right? So now we're fighting this guy. She's got a Tristana in the back. This guy over here. That guy's gonna jump into our back line there, so we don't want we don't want that. Yeah, I think we're moving this over here. So he's gonna basically jump over here and hopefully not kill my dudes. Hopefully get on Annie. Yes, he does. Nice. Oh yeah, he's got the sniper's focus too, so he's definitely on Annie. We are going to burn their whole team down. Burn them down, everybody. Oh, dude, this Molly Bear almost burned me down, speaking of burning down. But shouldn't be a problem. We have too much damage. Too much damage. I'm gonna roll this. Okay, get the Morgana. Nice. Good rolls, everybody. Um, I guess now the last thing to do is this Lee Sin. And there we go. And then now, I guess we roll for three star Annie. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Mm, nope. That's fine. Ooh. This is my Dragon Lord. I could switch this, but Lee Sin is nice. I, I don't mind Lee Sin. We could go for Dragon Lord, just level up. I think we just level up, put this last one in, and just LOL the whole way. Uh, we're not dying. These guys are dead. I think we win this round, because as long as we win this one, we should win the rest. Um, these three-star Kiana changed items again? Wait, what? Do you have golden remover? No. I mean, we, we kill this guy for sure, right? We have too much damage. I hope we do anyway. Janna should shield the Morgana. Oh, shield that, yeah. I think we're good. These, the, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Azir does too much damage. I think everyone's dead now. Oh, this guy won against my ghost or his ghost or something. So that's fine. 58. We need 72 to level. What does this give us? Eat. That's not quite enough. Uh, although maybe we'll have enough after this. It's certainly possible. Hmm. Okay, we kill this, and then it's 1v1 with this guy, who... Or maybe there was another guy. How does that Kiana keep changing items? Is there two guys with three-star Kiana? How is that possible? Uh, we don't need this. We want an item for probably him. We don't need that. We don't need really any of these. Um... Yeah, all of these suck, to be honest. I'm gonna give him the Nasher's Tooth. Do we have enough? We do. Let's go level 10. Put this guy in. I'm gonna move these over here. No, I'm gonna fake it out. I don't think he was paying attention anyway. Oh, good, we're on the right side. <laughs> Alright, Kiana. Luck getting through all that shit. 
Yeah, that's fine. And I'll fight. One shot. Azir. One shot. You can do it. We're burning everybody to death in the middle of that. And then Azir comes in and just super lasers everybody. Uh, we should be okay here. Yeah, sorry guys. All right, thank you very much for watching my video. I always forget to talk about CPU cores. CPUcores.com, I'll work at them on Steam. They're awesome. They make your computers just faster. They make my gaming experience faster. And they can do it for you. It's like eight bucks on sale most of the time. So go get it, CPUcores.com or at Steam. Just go to Steam and go CPU cores. Thanks guys for watching the video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the uh, series.